Does the chef have superior products compared to other food companies out there? Well, that's what we're going to talk about here today on the Plant Stock channel. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you aren't, then welcome back. This is part two of a five-part series to be able to determine if the tattoo chef could be a 10x company or even a generational company. And the five criteria that I have is one, do they have a grand vision? Two, do they have a superior product? Three, do people love their products? Are they raving about their products? Four, do they have an advantage towards the competition? And five, what about the CEO? Do they have a strong CEO and a management team? And if you haven't seen part one, if they have a grand vision, then take a look at the top right corner over there. So today we're going to take a look at their second criteria. Do they have a superior product? But before that, I would really appreciate an early thumbs up because it really helps spread the message of the channel. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to do that and don't forget that bell button. Thank you folks, I truly appreciate your help. So the question is, do they have a superior product? Well, I think that question could be twofold, right? In my opinion, it's either it has to do with, is it a healthy product? Is it a better for you product given the times we live in? I think that could give you an advantage. But the second part could be, is there a lot of brand awareness? Do people rave about this brand and their products? Do they love their products, right? So that's something we're gonna talk about in a later video. But in this video, I thought we'll talk about if it is a healthy and better for you product compared to many other companies out there. Now, there might be other perspectives too that I'm not talking about. So please let me know down in the comments and we can talk more about that. Now, first of all, obviously, what are we comparing with, right? When it comes to being a product that has nutritional value that's higher than other products out there, again, what are we comparing with? But when we compare it to meat products, right? I think it gets quite simple given all the research that we've had in the last couple of years. No, no, I know some of you are going to say, oh, there's plenty of research and studies that shown that meat is super superior, it's super healthy. But again, folks, you need to know what kind of methodology was used in those research reports, right? How many people were actually tested and for how long? That's why I usually look at meta-analysis, right? Meta-analysis means basically that you look at research papers and studies that's done in the whole world, right? Meaning that they maybe looked at 100 or 200,000 people in the US, then they looked at 100 or 200,000 people in Europe and so on and so on, and you get the same results. And it's quite obvious when it comes to meat and dairy, usually the results are that if people eat too much of them, they usually end up getting cancer or heart diseases of different kinds. Now, you don't have to agree with me. That's perfectly fine. If you wanna have a discussion about it, if you want to look at some resources, let me know down in the comments. And yes, I do hear you. Enough with the vegan propaganda. So we'll just move on from now. So what happens then if we compare it with other plant-based companies? And the two most famous ones, which would be Beyond Meat and Impossible Foods. Right, if we take a look at Beyond Meat's products, and let's just take a look at their burger to make this simple, and their, what they actually contain. And remember folks, I've talked about this on several occasions, it's always about that it's grouped in the right order, right? So usually the three first ingredients is what is most in that product of them. So meaning here that the most you get from the three first ones here, we can look at a little more, would be water, pea protein, expeller pressed canola oil, refined coconut oil, rice protein, and so on. So it's a pretty heavily processed product, right? And when we move on to Impossible Burger and Impossible Foods, uh, I might be totally incompetent, but going through their whole page quickly anyways, let me know if I'm wrong here. I couldn't find exact uh, food, the, uh, the exact ingredients there's in their product. So uh, we, I went to Target and we found it here. And uh, ingredients here is also, it's water, then soy pro protein, concentrated form, coconut oil, sunflower oil, and the same thing though. So it's highly processed food. So when it comes to Tattoo Chef's products, I would say they have several products that are far superior than these burgers, right? especially when we're talking about nutritional value. 
So if we take a look at one of their examples, uh, the vegan gluten-free cold brew dark chocolate smooth bowl. Let's take a look at the ingredient list here. Yeah, the first here is organic strawberries, organic bananas. So we're good to go there, right? And then cold brew coffee. And then we come to coconut milk and so on. So it's definitely higher nutritional value. But if we look at some of their other things, if we take a look at their cauliflower pizza bowl, that's vegetarian, uh, and take a look at it. I know this is a popular one. And here we can see cauliflower. That's obviously good for you. Pizza sauce. Yep. And then we come to the mozzarella, which is the third, basically, uh, main ingredient here. And as we know, it's basically like meat. It's like liquefied meat, uh, not the healthiest product for you. So uh, that's, and then we come to pea protein isolates, which is basically what the pepperoni is made by. It's water, tapioca, starch, coconut oil, pea protein. So I don't see a huge difference when it comes to the actual meat products. And this is actually true of their other uh, meat alternative products. It's also a lot of isolated protein powder. So I don't want to bore you to death here, uh, but basically when you look at the meat alternative products that they don't have very much of, but like the cauliflower spaghetti thing here, it's vegan, but the crumbles is also isolated protein powders. Same in the burrito blend here. Uh, and there's some cheese. So basically when you look at the more whole foods like their acai bowls or their vegetable blends of course uh, of different kinds these are obviously superior to a typical burger question is who would choose between a burger and a, a chai bowl that's another question of course but uh, i'm not sure if i'm saying that maybe you should say a sigh all right sorry for butchering the word there right so i say basically when it comes to comparing different plant-based foods, I do think that a lot of the products that Tattoo Chef has is actually superior. Uh, but when it comes to their meat alternatives, not so much, especially not when comparing it to the very good butchers, the very good food company, right? Uh, here, if we take a look at their burger, uh, they, it contains wheat gluten, onion, organic black beans, organic mushrooms, barley, apple, organic carrots, organic beans. It's actually one of the healthiest products I've seen out there when it comes to being somewhat processed, but this is almost not processed to be honest, but it's still somewhat processed. We have to be real about that, but compare it to any other product I've seen there so far out there, it must be one of the healthiest alternative. So when it comes to the meat products that Tattoo Chef has, and considering that a lot of them have cheese as well, or eggs, yep, it's not very superior. But again, talking about the whole whole foods products that they have, yes, then definitely we can see some superiority. But we also have to highlight another advantage, and it is that most of the Tattoo Chef's product, if not all of them, I can't find any that isn't, are gluten-free. And we know a lot of people have sensitivities with that. And if it's not sensitivity, sensitivities, it is that they worry about it. They believe that it's healthier to eat gluten-free. So I think that's a really good product to have. Uh, and I think they actually sell really well because of that reason too. But also that a lot of their products are organic. And that is also something we know it's in and usually it benefits your health. So I think it's a really good thing with them as a brand. So something to think about, right? So I do feel that one of their disadvantage right now is that they do have several products that contain cheese, dairy, and eggs. And from a health and sustainability perspective, that's not very good, right? And also the same when it comes to an animal rights issue. But another thing we have to think about this, this could be confusing to customers out there, right? It kind of could work against them in long term. And that's another word I want to talk about there, which is woke washing. I hadn't heard about this term before, but I saw it in an article that was recently released on Oatly that just IPO'd, right? But it has to do with that a lot of people hate that bigger brands and bigger companies try to kind of like wash clean their negative impact on sustainability and animal rights. So as it states here, 
uh, is also true that the public hates walkwashing, woke washing, the phenomenon in which big brands take a stance on environmental or social issues that are contradicted by their actions. And ethical consumption is a growing force in shaping people's shopping habits, particularly for younger generations. And that's, is, there's a lot of articles about this. There's a lot of talk about this. And I've heard about it before. Obviously, I've been thinking about that a lot. Uh, but I didn't know about that terminology. And as we know, this is a big thing with Tattoo Chef that they profit from. They do emphasize this uh, on this latest endeavor with One Tree Planted. Together, we will plant a forest. As a plant-based, sustainably sourced company, we strive to make conscious decisions that will help sell, save and restore our environment, which is why we've decided to partner with One Tree Planted. We'll be donating $1 to One Tree Planted for every product purchased throughout the month of May. And obviously that that is a great thing but again what does that mean then you know if they're supporting sustainability right they've been talking about health also by eating a plant-based diet but they still use products that are really bad for the environment it's bad for your health and it's bad for the animals so there is a concern with that long term so to wrap this up as a whole, yes, they have a superior product as of yet compared to the overall food industry. Several of their products are filled with fruits and vegetables, but it's quite clear that it is their 100% plant-based skews, their vegan products that offers the most bang for the buck, especially from a nutritional value perspective. And I would say that as this sector becomes more competitive with time, I sincerely hope that they do consider changing their whole product line to 100% plant-based given that this is already an obvious trend that is here to stay and will only grow larger and larger companies that offer a clear-cut 100 percent plant-based product will win out in the long term in my opinion given that it's healthier for you better for the planet and that more and more people are becoming more conscious about the animal cruelty as animal rights movements are getting a stronger and stronger foothold if you are truly targeting the gen c and millennial population one truly needs to follow suit. But I'm not really worried about this long term, right? I'm not happy about that they're not fully vegan as of yet, but long term as a business, I'm not worried about it because I already feel that there's some indications that they're moving in that direction. And this is also something I'll talk more about in future videos. But they wouldn't be the first semi plant based company that actually becomes 100% plant based with time. So this brings us to the third part of this series, the third criteria that do people love their products? Do they rave about their product? Because let's face it, it doesn't always right now have to do about how healthy a product is. Long term, I think it's going to be about that, right? But short term, it has to do with how popular the product is and about the brand awareness, but also how convenient it is. And we'll talk about that in the next video. So folks, I truly hope you got a lot of value from today's video. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button and help me out. And if you want to keep getting more information regarding Tattoo Chef or other plant-based companies out there like Beyond Meat and the Very Good Food Company, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget that bell button. Thank you, folks. And as always, this was not financial advice. These were just my own thoughts and opinions. It's important to do your own due diligence and invest safe. Guys, have a wonderful Saturday. Hope to see you soon and peace out.